In this screencast, we'll show how merchants can retrieve order information that's embedded in a Buy Now button, as well as some additional features to complete your transaction. So I've logged into a merchant PayPal account, and what I'll do is I'll go to the Merchant Services tab, and I've already created a Buy Now button. So to see the ones I've already uh, created, you click on My Saved Buttons. Now we see a list of buttons. Um, we're going to first look at one called Super Shirt. You can click the little uh, triangle to uh, expand and see some of the different options we have here. You can also go over to the right under the Actions menu and click Edit Button. And this takes us to the view that you see when you originally created the button. You scroll down and on the left you can see the different ways we've customized the buttons. We've added uh, the ability to choose a different color, to choose a different size, or to add a text field. And to the right you can see what your actual customer view will look like. You'll notice we have some different prices here based on the colors. And we have some different sizes. That's our Buy Now button. And if you make any changes to this, you can click the save now. You can click the save button to save it. And then after you save it, you'll get the option to select the code uh, for this um, buy now button. I've selected the code. And what you would do is then copy that code and paste it into your um, online store or if you're using a, something like Dreamweaver or some other editor, you can copy and paste that into uh, your own HTML page and upload that to your server. Now what's that going to look like uh, for the customer? Let's go over and take a look. This is the customer view, so I'm going to choose a uh, green shirt, make that a medium, and say uh, Hurry up because I want it to arrive quickly. And then I click the Buy Now button. This is now uh, going to take me to PayPal's website where the customer uh, can review the order details as well as enter their PayPal uh, password. You then uh, log in to PayPal. You confirm your shipping address and your payment method. You can click the Buy Now button. And that will complete our transaction. Let's go back to our merchant view. So here's our merchant account. And I'll go back to my account and see uh, that this payment has come through here. Now this is the order that just happened. And I want to find out what the details of that order are. So clicking on the details link takes me into another view where I can see what the color and the size and if it's ready to ship. Um, very clearly at the top it says that it's okay to ship. Uh, it also displays the address of where I'm going to be shipping it to. You scroll down the page. We can see uh, how much was paid. Um, we can also see if there was any shipping or uh, taxes that we've added. Here's the uh, item title. We can see the color is green, the size is medium, and their special request, which is to hurry up. Now, once you're ready to ship the item, we have the ability to print out a packing slip. So I'll click on that link to open up packing slip window. Again, we see uh, the address of where we're shipping it to. And you can see all the details for this order. If you want to, you can edit this packing slip by clicking the Edit button. And at this point, you could um, enter a URL to a custom logo and have your own logo appear on your packing slip. You could alter uh, your address or your phone number, and you can put in here a custom message. And if you like uh, the changes that you've made, you can um, click this checkbox that says to save these changes for all your packing slips 
uh, in the future. Um, that all looks good. I'm going to click to view my packing slip again. And you can see my change, thanks for shopping with us, now appears. Uh, if everything is done, I can print it and uh, ship my shirt off to my customer. And that is the Buy Now button.